All right, welcome back, guys. Welcome back to more Hogwarts Legacy. We just uh, rescued the uh, the dragon in that last quest or the last episode. Now, this episode, I was looking through here, so it looks like the the main story here wants me to complete Professor Weasley's assignment. So I think we'll definitely get that done in uh, in this video. But I also have another thing here from Sebastian, and it wants me. To meet him in the undercroft so i think that's what we're going to be doing right now i've really enjoyed sebastian's kind of side mission story whatever you want to call it um it's been really interesting it's been probably the best side missions in the whole game because you get to learn some really cool things so i'm actually gonna go down here we're gonna do the sebastian one first and then i think we're gonna do the uh, professor weasley's assignment and then kind of see where exactly we are after those two let's go look at this hippogriff i am in Don't love with this black quicker. one dude i'm serious you know looks so good flying over the forbidden forest <laughs> it's so nice you know this game's been just incredible it gets better and better each time i play it the winter, I think, definitely looks the best out of all the seasons in the game. I mean, look at Hogwarts right now. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look absolutely incredible. Now, I did just do an update for the game, and I don't know. I think my game, like, I don't know what was wrong with it, but after I updated it, I got, like, 80,000 messages from the from the owl and it wasn't it hasn't been reading me those messages throughout the game so i wonder if that's something that the uh the update kind of fixed because it just kept reading them and reading them and i just thought to myself you know what i don't really remember ever seeing these come across when i was actually playing so at least it kind of fixed it now let's go ahead and land there you go buddy Put him back in the old bag. All right, let's see. I also did change my outfit, as you can see. Looking pretty snazzy now. Here we go, baby. You'll never believe what I've... What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. Mm. I regret using Crucio. I agree. No, I agree, bro. We did what we had to. That's what you got to do, you know? It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it. Because in the spellbook, I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I won't say a word. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Uh-oh. Ominous. Holy shit, where'd Which this guy come from? To get some air. Care to join? No way. You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for This Anne. is awkward. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. 
Talk with Ominous after he finishes with Sebastian. Oh, God. I am not letting this go. <laughs> this guy's just breaking everything on his way out. Come on, bro. Ugh. Ominous. Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Well, that was a, uh... I kind of want to know what happened. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors. Spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library. Noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. The spell book is giving Sebastian hope. The spell book is concerning. Ooh. Man, this is where we gotta like pick a side. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess that's that. <laughs> we got put in the middle of a little argument there. All right, let's see now. I think we could do Weasley's little thing, I believe. We also got this, a dragon to breathe. After rescuing a dragon from the clutches of the poacher pack, Poppy is ready to discuss our next move. She wants to meet me in the three broomsticks. That actually seems like one that, uh, that I'd like to do as well. But let's go ahead. Let's do Professor Weasley's assignment. Let's kind of move on this main story here a little bit. Let's see. Where can I fast travel to over here I guess we'll just go right there we'll have to do a little bit of a little bit of traversing you know but it is what it is man I'm really disappointed that we didn't learn another spell there <laughs> that's kind of what I was hoping for you know here we go the underground harbor we got to collect a field guide page in here So this is the underground harbor. <laughs> nice. Revelio. Uh. There you are. Nice. Collect the field guide page from the book. Okay, we gotta go to the library now, apparently. Yo, you get so much XP from this. Okay, so just for, like, reference, you get... I just got 80 XP for that one page, okay? We killed the giant whatever it was after the second trial, and it gave us 35 XP for that. Like, bro. Something's not right with that, you know? All right, let's switch back. Wait, I like this one. Okay. All right, now we got to go to this library. Where's this place at? A lot of map traversing <laughs> in this game, you know? It's like what it is mainly. I think I have to get out of here, though, don't I? For the 
book Intermediate Transfiguration. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. Okay. A quiz I guess. Sounds like fun. Splendid. Just a few questions, and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in the game of Quidditch? Oh boy, I actually have to answer this? Uh... Uh, man, my wife would know the answer to these. I don't know the answer. I'm gonna go... this. The Golden Snidget. Correct! Wow! The Snidget was first introduced <laughs> to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. <laughs> that was so lucky. That was unbelievable. To as liquid luck. Liquid luck. Which potion? Uh, da, 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 da. Um. Go with this one. Felix Felicis. Well done. Wow. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? The Deathly Hallows. Correct. Wow. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder <laughs> Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? Oh, God. Really? It's not the Snitch. I'm going to go this one. The Bludger. I'm sorry, but the correct answer oh, is the Quaffle. Ah, come on. When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded 10 points. True or false? Polyjuice potion allows a drinker to change species. True. True. Actually, the answer was Wow. Yes. While polyjuice we suck. potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. Oh boy, sounds amazing. I, I'm sorry, I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. There we go. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. All right, now we gotta go back to her class. Where is she at? Where is her class at, I should say. Traversing through the Hogwarts, baby, you know? We're gonna learn a new spell, Transfiguration, it seems like. Wonder what that's gonna do. Hey, little fella. <laughs> what? Settle down. Settle Get out of down. town with that. Is that what we're gonna be learning how to do? As you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now. You all know what to do. All right, let's see, baby. Nice. Beautifully done.
We... You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Hopefully, you won't need it anytime soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Was your extended conversation with Mr. Ollivander after you'd obtained your wand or subsequent search of the Owlery connected in any way to Professor Fig? <laughs> no. Not at all. I, um, I enjoy talking to Mr. Ollivander. I'm fascinated by a wand law, and I'd never visited the Owlery. Bit of a mess. <laughs> I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. All right, let's see. Do we have any new quests available? No, not yet. I think we have to leave the classroom first. If I remember, then it'll like jump up with a new quest. There Since you go. Our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Gobbledygook. <laughs> All right, so I think first we are going to do this Sebastian one. Oh, I have to be level 22. Get out of town with that. Come on. I need to rescue. Okay, garlic's assignment. Grow. Hmm. So I think I could. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. Man, I'm like getting close. Like it's required level 21. I'm going to have to start farming some things, you know? Speak with Amit. Where is he at exactly, though? And this game really does make you, like, go into your map, like, 80,000 times. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, holy cow. We need to talk to Amit. Let's see what he has to say. I'm probably going to have to spend some time, like, not recording, just going through, uh... Like, going the right way. Uh, just going like through farming and leveling up. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do That way we don't you know have to waste any time on a video doing all that all right, Where's this guy at Look, this is a workout. Oh my god. How many stairs are there dude? You have to just climb up these every time Look at that that is beautiful Hello there Hello I'll meet do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. <laughs> uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Revelio. Give me that. Thank you for being willing to help. Oh, me come on. I tried to collect the field well. guide. I'm looking forward <laughs> to meeting your friend, Lord Gok. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? 
Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. Come on. So meet you there. This is what I wanted. <laughs> All right. Damn. 1900. Okay. This guy is far as hell. Let's see. Gonna have to world map it, would be my guess. Holy Toledo. I don't think this guy could be any further. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Away! All right, come on, baby. Climb, climb. Go up here in style. Who lived here, I wonder? I wonder what this main quest is going to be all about here. I'm kind of excited. The fly in this hippogriff is just amazing hold on let's go ahead and land here because there is a flame that would be nice for me to collect there we go no need to race now my friend what is this oh ashwinder eggs nice a friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthbot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. But you had no choice. You should have expected that. Let's go there. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. A good castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. <laughs> oh, Bacalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, uh, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. <laughs> Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. 
We're ready. I'll meet and I can do this. All right, let's do I it, baby. We about to go return. in. We about to go in. I shall see you soon. All right, where is it at? It's over here. Wonder if I should change. Should I change my spells here? Oh, I have two of the same spells. Hold on. Confringo. Nice. Yes, of course. The door is looking at us. All right, let's go ahead and enter the mine, baby. Oh my God, what's gonna be in here waiting for us? I have no idea. So rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. Search for evidence of Ranrock's plan. All right. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. I was like, I was wondering, I was like, did you make it in here, buddy? <laughs> I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. I've read about mines like this, but see. Oh, God. <laughs> Whoops. Oh my lord, again. What the hell? There we go. You need to be careful. As I'm sure you know, not all goblins are as friendly as Lord God. To say the least. Let's go, baby. <laughs> there we go. Come on, baby. You don't want none of this. Just stop. That was a little more than I'm used to. I'll get us through here safely, I'll meet. I don't doubt it. Have my what? All right, what is this? Wait a minute. Oh, it's got the eyeball. Okay, I see what's going on here. Hold on. We're being watched. By a door. I just need to like get a second Repair. spell set going here and I just need to put this on here along with a bunch of other things All right, right. Don't wish to be seen do we? Hopefully he doesn't see us nice look at him. <laughs> what an idiot <laughs> I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, I'll meet. See if we can find any plans. What's this? Bound a schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. Rebellion. Can't return to Lodgok empty headed. Let's see. Anything in here? Anything in here? Anybody home? Oh, hold on. There's a little staircase here. It's up here. You're out of your league, little goblin. Here's some more plans, it looks like. Get some of that. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? Nice, we are getting a lot of credits. <laughs> you know? 
Whoa, what is that? Okay, I don't think we can go through there. I think we're gonna have to go maybe I think we're gonna have to go backtrack a little bit possibly here. Because this is where we kinda came in, isn't it? Hold on a minute. What's up here? Isn't this where I just was? Oh my god, I just did a massive circle. Get out of the way, guy. Come on now. Alright, now I'm lost. And of course, this thing doesn't help me out. Come on! We are so lost in here. Hold on. What's down? Okay, never mind. Found it. Revelio. Here's another one. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? I will get to the bottom of what they've been doing. Curse you. Oh my lord. <laughs> Take some of that with you. Oh my lord in heaven. Bro, we have gotten so powerful, it's unbelievable. Oh, there's more? <laughs> it is dribbled him like a basketball. Yo, this is tight. This place is more complex than I had expected. Why is it giving me so many potions, bro? So many health potions. This is not. This is not good. Huh? Hold on. We might have to come back to that. Let's go see what's up here real quick. Revelio. It has given me a lot of health, which is uh. Quite concerning to say the least. You know? Alright, what do I do here? Hold on a minute. Let me listen. Let's see. See what we can find back here, you know? Might be something cool. Hmm. All right, gear slots are full. This is what we do every episode. Basically, you got to get rid of some gear. I don't really want to get rid of my hat because I'm wearing it. I don't know what though that is yet. I don't really want to get rid of that. We'll get rid of these. How about that? Nice. Another, another scarf like the one I already have. <laughs> Sweet. All right, let's go back out here. I think we got to do something with this, like, little wheel of water. I don't know what it is. I think we got to do something with it, though. Let's see. It's a puzzle, that's for sure. Not sure what exactly... Oh, wait a minute. Confringo. What did that do? Did that do anything? Akio. Oh. Nice. Get all this stuff here. Hold on. Nasty stuff if we're not dead. Not the entanglement we need right now. Confirm. A lot of moonstone in here too. I feel like something big is coming. I just I don't know what it is yet. <laughs> you know, I feel it like it's coming though. I really really do. Oh 
Come on, baby. Look at this guy's level 23. That's what level I'm supposed to be at. There we go. Get out of town. Oh, get out of... Who was that? <laughs> yeah, buddy, you're done. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, these guys are hard. Yeah, take that with you. Oh, come on. I need more spells. There we go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Yeah. Sorry, fella. Oh my god, there's a lot of gear here. Alright, let's see. I'm just gonna get rid of some gear and then I I, for, I keep forgetting about my talent points too, man. I gotta get some more talent points. Okay, hold on. Oh, that one's bad for defense. Mm. This one's good for offense. What's this one? Plus nine for... Uh, I don't like the look of that one, so let's go ahead. Let's get rid of this one too. I feel like it's one I already have on. Basically, right? Let's get rid of this outfit. Or wait, no, I have this one on. Okay, never mind. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. Alright, now let's see what all this gear is real quick. And then let's look at some talent points. Well, that was it. That was it? Alright, now I gotta go to the talent points. Kind of want to see what we have. I feel like there is a boss fight incoming... So, in light of that, Wigan Weld heals you to a greater effect. Increases the range of Revelio. Hmm, what about these? What are these? Casting Disposal releases an additional blast. Ooh. The Fringo impacts produce fiery bolts. Ooh. Enemies near target level. Oh my god, hold on a second. Yo, this one actually looks cool. Defendo's actually one of my uh, one of my favorite spells to cast. So, all right, well, let's see where exactly. Well, I wonder if we're like, are we missing anything in here though? Hold on, before we do that, let's just see if we're missing anything, like any of the plans. What's this? Let's see, nothing up here, okay. Alright, looks as if we're good. Clever. I don't know if I'm supposed to do something with that or not. Here we go, baby. This is what we need. This is not good. They're building enormous drills. Bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodko what we found. Exit the mine. How in the world are we supposed to get all the way up there? Okay, there's that. I'm guessing it's something to do with this out here, maybe. There we go. There we go. Now, what did that do? Did that open a door in here? 
are out there. I had to have done something, right? Oh, right here, maybe? Little elevator thing? Sweet! I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. <laughs> I'm glad you came with me, Omit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Oh, what is this? Level 2 lock? Get out of town with that. I don't know if we're ever going to reach level 2 lock, you know? Pretty sure you have to do a bunch of side quests with, for that guy in order to uh, achieve that. Those side quests, though. I'm just not very interested in those side quests, you know? I like the Sebastian ones, and I like the uh, the we're Poppy ones. Here, Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. Is this the lift right here? Wait a minute. Or do we go back here? I'm confused. Hopefully I just didn't do a big circle. Oh, here we go. Nice. I guess there is no boss fight in here, huh? I kind of was thinking that there was going to be one. I really was. I was waiting for it, you know? It gave me like 80 healths, so I was just waiting. Now right, we got to speak with this guy. This guy probably feels uncomfortable because, you know. talk about what just happened? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. <laughs> without All right, where's Lodgok? Get you. over here, fella. <laughs> They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you- Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it. But I don't know. Damn. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock. Transforming all of them. 
I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodgok, for telling me this. Hmm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Wow, okay, there was a lot there. So, basically, he thinks that Ranrock killed Fig's wife. That was a uh, that was a fun little exploration little part there, going into the mine. I uh, I actually thoroughly enjoyed that a lot. <laughs> We're almost up to level 22, so I think I think when I'm not recording, I'm gonna have to do some some farming somehow. I'm gonna have to look up a good way to uh, do some farming. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to. And then when we come back, I think we might do. On the next episode, we might do like a, a dragon debrief. Maybe this as well. Maybe the lost child. That actually sounds interesting. Natty has learned of a wizard in Lower Hogsfield who is being harassed by Harlow, Rockwood's right hand man. I should meet her there to investigate. That actually sounds like that would be a good, uh, good little side quest. And then hopefully we can get to level 22 and uh, get this done. I do like how this game has like required levels. I think Horizon Forbidden West did something like that, but it wasn't like you had to be a certain level. It was just like it's recommended that you should be a level, you know? I like how this game is forcing you to really go out and explore and do all these different things so that you can continue to raise your level if you want to uh, continue going through the main story. That actually is something really cool about this game. But uh, that'll do it for this part, guys. This seems like a natural stopping point in this part. This was a good time for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hop down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And uh, when we come back, we will be doing some more main quest stuff along with some side missions. Hopefully, I'll be a little bit higher level. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. But I hope to catch you guys on the next one. And as always, stay safe out there.